As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we welcome today's graduating divisions.
Today's graduating performing unit is Division 9, 4 9. <laughs> Division 949 provides the state flags, color guard, and drumline units for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions, right, face, section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions, counter, march. Divisions, halt. Prepare for review. At a normal interval, dress left, dress. Anyone on the south side of the state flag or first line? Ready? May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant Jessica Morales, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's Pass and Review. Today, you will see eight divisions comprised of 619 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Devin Connor from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is a staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flags unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. The senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flag they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from there, right. Division three, five, five. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Mario Castro. Petty Officer First Class Mario Sorcy. Petty Officer Second Class Rachel Wood and their recruit chief pet officer, fireman apprentice Dorelli Zebreu from the Bronx, New York. Division three, five, six. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Nigel Ellington. Petty Officer First Class Elaine Davasol. Petty Officer Second Class Angel Cabero. And their recruit chief petty officer, Airman Cadence Richardson from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Division three, five, seven. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Marlon Best. Petty Officer First Class Marisol Martinez. Petty Officer Second Class Lindsay Wild. And their recruit chief petty officer, Fireman Raymond Masalas from Fort Lock, South Carolina. Division three, five, eight. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Nicholas Mann. Petty Officer First Class Joffrey Wisniewski. Petty Officer Second Class Woodrow Baker. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice David Ortiz from Aurora, Colorado. Division three, five, nine. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Stevie Volando. Petty Officer First Class Bao Vu. Petty Officer Second Class Elijah Stanberry. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Recruit Elizabeth Sanchez from Santee, California. Division three, six, zero. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Jomo Terry. Petty Officer First Class Charles Smith. Petty Officer Second Class Kimberly Hammond. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Dylan Strands from Menifee, California. Division 362. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Carlos Naranjo. Petty Officer First Class Jacob Lavold. Petty Officer Second Class John Bartlett. 
and their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Grant Dinsel from Los Altos, California. Division 949. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jason Brownlee. Chief Petty Officer Paul Ho. Petty Officer First Class Joshua Marr. And their crew Chief Petty Officer Airman Jordan Yelverton from San Diego, California. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, bosun and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time-honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Time orderly, strike four bell. Recruit training command arriving.
Vice Commander, United States Fleet Cyber Command, arriving. The guests may be seated. Color Guard, hooray the colors! Will the guests please rise?
order. Arms. Retire the colors. Present. Arms. Order. Arms. Chaplain Miller will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of all that is, we thank you that we have the opportunity to come before you today to celebrate. These mighty sailors stand here today with the awesome responsibility that rests on their shoulders that future freedom is dependent on them. And they have the great responsibilities to their families, their country, those who have served before them, to the constitution they swore to defend, to the leadership and the world and future generations. We pray, we pray they won't fall to the weight that rests upon them, but they would rise for the task set before them. And we pray they would be men and women of great character, who are confident and tough and always ready to get the mission accomplishment as they defend freedom and democracy around the world. In this, Lord, hear our prayers. Remain our spiritual anchors so that we can continue to be a beacon of hope around the world. In your most holy name we pray, amen. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. The Sailor's
morning, Captain. I present the graduating division. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Aye, aye, sir.
award winners, left or right, base. Award winners supporting, sir. Very well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Ken Prover, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. I'd like to welcome all our family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral John Oakland, Vice Commander, United States Fleet Cyber Command, U.S. 10th Fleet. I would also like to acknowledge the staff from our fleet sponsors. We have a couple today. Commander, Naval Surface Group, Middle Pacific, sponsoring Division 355. Commander, Undersea Surveillance Division, sponsoring Division 356. USS Bruins, DDG-111, sponsoring Division 358. USS Chafee, DDG-90, sponsoring Division 359. Commander, Fleet Logistics Support Wing, supporting, uh, sponsoring Division 360. And finally, Commander, Naval Expeditionary Logistics Support Group, sponsoring Division 362. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy Command from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans in the audience today and watching live from around the world. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise for a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 949 graduates today, there are state flags in it, providing 50 state flags, District of Columbia and U.S. Territory flags, drum corps, and color guard. Please join me in giving them and the other seven graduating divisions here today a round of applause for the outstanding performance. The Staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you today. These sailors have completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding recruit training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your Navy family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search Navy Boot Camp Navy Family or use a QR code provided on the signage around the drill hall to learn more about your new Navy family. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our Naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who are threatened. I can say with pride, this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 619 of the newest and sharpest United States Navy sailors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Rear Admiral Ocon will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Airman Zachary Taylor, Division 356 from Long Beach, New Jersey, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Lake Defiance Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Airman Taylor receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor.
for having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Fireman Apprentice, there is a brave, Division 3, 5-5, five, five, from Bronx, New York, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Fireman Apprentice of Row is presented with a commemorative flag and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Oluwanhemi Osunti, Division 3, 5 5 from Lagos, Nigeria, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for Best Exemplifying the Spirit and Intent of the Word Shipmate. Seaman Osunti is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Rain Snee, Division 3, 5 5 from Irwin, North Carolina, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Horse Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Apprentice Snee is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Horse. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Fireman Luna Pitt, Division 3, 5 5 from Murray, Kentucky, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Fireman Pitt is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Nicole Gray, Division 3, 5, 6, from Longmont, Colorado, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places her at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. She's awarded a flag letter of commendation. Seaman Apprentice Grimm, this staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about one other round of applause for our award recipients for our outstanding work. I have the distinct honor today of introducing our reviewing officer, Real John Oakman, Vice Commander, of the United States Fleet Cyber Command, U.S. 10th Fleet. That CEO can serve aboard USS Ticonderoga as a first lieutenant, administrative officer, and navigator, and aboard USS Dwight D. Eisenhower as meteorologist and oceanographer. In short, he served as operations officer and executive assistant as deputy director for regional operations, joint staff, senior oceanography assignment and placement officer, naval personnel command, executive assistant, and deputy chief of naval operations for information and warfare, and director of naval intelligence. Royal Balkan commanded Naval Oceanography Anti-Submarine Warfare Center in Yokosuka, Japan, Fleet Numerical Meteorological and Oceanography Center in Monterey, and as a flag officer, he commanded Navy Meteorology and Oceanography Command and served as the oceanographer of the Navy. Navigator of the Navy, hydrographer of the Navy, most recently his director, Warfare Integra Integration Director in the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations. To say it, he has had a lot of positions across our Navy, and I am very honored to introduce Rebel. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for that kind introduction. Uh, what a great Navy day it is today. First, I want to say good morning to my newest shipmates, all 619 of Training Group 49. A special thanks to the warriors that I had the pleasure of having dinner with last night from USS Kearsarge and USS Constitution, airmen, seamen, firemen, and hospital in Bonham, Mendoza, Martinez, Arudia, Azazi, LeBlanc, Carazana, Hamilton, and Brown. Thanks for the company, shipmates. It's really great to get to know you and welcome you firsthand into the fleet. A special thanks to Airman Fenter and Seaman Grant. Shipmates, I had a chance to meet your families yesterday at Chicago O'Hare and to say they are excited to see you is an understatement. Okay, Training Group 49, I've watched your journey over the past 10 weeks from afar, yesterday and again this morning. I saw firsthand your transformation from civilian to recruit, and yes, today, to United States sailor. I know you are excited to see your family and friends and to step into the fleet. It's what you've been trained for. As you do, I want to share with you a few, just a few things I've learned over my time as a sailor and that hope will help you on the course your RDCs put you on. First, expectations. We, rec we recited it just a minute ago. Everything you need to know, every expectation you have of me and I have of you as United States sailors is in our creed. 77 words, five lines. I know you know them. Continue to recite them study them, and more importantly, live by them in every thought, every word, and every action. It is who we are, what we believe, and how we conduct ourselves in and out of uniform. Stewardship. You are now the steward of the standard. You no longer represent just yourself. You represent the over 300,000 sailors, officer and enlisted, and the millions that have gone before us we are the United States Navy, and we represent the fighting spirit that has gone before us to defend freedom and democracy around the world for over 248 years. Stewardship matters, and it matters more now than it ever has before. Character. Character counts. You own your character. Your character is always with you, in your heart and in your mind. It is what matters. Never compromise your, value, your values and treat everyone, everyone with dignity and respect. Have high standards of yourself, hold yourself accountable to them. If you discipline yourself, no one will ever have to discipline you. Your choices define your character and your character defines your course in life. Never, never compromise your character. Hard work is a talent equalizer, and hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Work hard every day to be better than the day before and continue to earn the trust of the American people. Balance. Life balance, Navy life is demanding and tough. You have had many challenges over the past 10 weeks. More challenges, greater challenges lie ahead. 
There will be stumbles and setbacks along the way. Your resilience and esprit de corps, your toughness, and how you respond and rebound will be critical to your success, our success. You must maintain a balanced life in mind, body, and soul to be ready to respond. Family. Our family is the cornerstone of our strength. To our families, your thank you for your sacrifice. Service is a team sport, and it starts with the unwavering love and support of our families. I know it wasn't easy to see your loved one go away for the last 10 weeks, but know they are in excellent hands here at RTC Great Lakes and will continue to be out in the fleet. While the past 10 weeks were hard, the years to come will be difficult and will come with continued sacrifice, deployments, missed family events, holidays, but for a great cause, the protection of the United States Constitution and where we find the American way of life. Thank you for what you do and what you will do to support Mars, my sailors, our sailors, and their service and to steer them into doing right and being right. Shipmates, Training Group 49, I couldn't be prouder to stand with you today in the same uniform and extend my hand and welcome you into the United States Navy. As I do, as I do, I will share with you a quote that sums up what I just discussed with you and what you learned over the past 10 weeks and what will you learn in the years to come. It's the Reisenberg saying, I learned it as a young sailor and I believe it will help you. And I quote, the sea is selective, slow in recognition of effort and aptitude, but fast in sinking the unfit. Godspeed, shipmates, and again, congratulations and welcome to the United States Navy. Hooyah! the salute of the graduating divisions and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Prober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments. Today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Tomorrow, you can pick them up at the chapel and for my naturalization sailors. Please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And now, without further delay, Liberty Call! Liberty Call! Fall out! Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall will be closed in 20 minutes. <laughs> 